The Rule of Nines, also known as the Wallace Rule of Nines, is a tool used by trauma and emergency medicine providers to assess the total body surface area, TBSA, involved in burn patients. It's sometimes referred to as the Wallace Rule of Nines after Dr. Alexander Wallace, the surgeon who first published the method. The creation of this method is credited to Pulaski and Tennyson. The rule of nines is meant to be used for second-degree burns, also known as partial thickness burns, third-degree burns, known as full thickness burns. The rule of nines is a tool used to estimate a burns percentage of your total skin. It divides your body into sections by multiples of 9% each. Parts of the rule of nines, the sections in the rule of nines are, head, 9%, genitalia, 1%, arm, 9%, leg, 18%, torso, 36%, the body sections can divide in half. For example, the front side of one arm or your head is 4.5% of your total body surface. Area. The front and back of your torso are 18% each. These percentages are accurate for people over age 14. Doctors don't typically use the same calculations in the rule of nines to children. This is because children tend to have different body proportions than adults do, including larger heads and smaller legs. For example, children tend to proportionally have a 20% larger head than adults, according to the National Institutes of Health. Infants also have 13% smaller legs than adults. Therefore, there are a few adjustments for the rule of nines in children. The rule of nines in inaccurate in children due to the relative disproportion of body parts, hips, and legs are smaller, head, neck and shoulders are larger. Hence, a pediatric version is available in chart form that estimates burn area as it changes with age. Alternatively, an estimate can be made from the following for a child up to the age of 1 year, head and neck total for front and back, 18%, thorax and abdomen front, 18%, thorax and abdomen back, 18%, each upper limb total for front and back, 9%, and each lower limb total for front and back, 14%. Dot. According to the National Institutes of Health, burns that are greater than 20 to 25% of total body surface area require significant intravenous fluids. Providers also know that burns that exceed 30% of a person's body can be potentially fatal according to the National Institutes of Health. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.